the topic is written in front of you. Uh, unfortunately, we belong to an area uh, which is uh, which has eight months of summer. We have very long summer, and uh, we are quite uh, uh, jaded and bored by our climate conditions. <clears throat> and uh, you might have uh, heard that people are dying uh, uh, of heat. This is not heat, but heat stroke. Now, heat stroke uh, simply is a condition of heat when the temperature rises up to 40 and uh, above. Now, suppose if you have uh, the cell phone, and if you check it out, your uh, temperature, even the fans are uh, moving, and you are sitting in a room like in a shade, but uh, your temperature would be more than normal temperature. If I ask you what would be the normal temperature in centigrade, can you know me? Can you tell me? What is the normal temperature? What should be the normal temperature? Please, have some guesses. Have some ideas. 37 degrees centigrade is the normal temperature of the human body. But I want to tell you that what is the normal temperature of any place to survive smoothly so that we have no any problem of perspiration or heat stroke. Here I have written the definition that when the temperature rises up to 40 or when it reaches to 40, so this comes as the heat stroke. But the normal temperature is that you can enjoy the weather means neither it is cold nor it is hot, it is called 28 degrees centigrade. So that means you are enjoying the weather, means you have no problem while going into the sun. So suppose if you can check right now, then even inside the room, the temperature would be more than 28 degrees centigrade. It would be 31, 32, 33 degrees centigrade. Then what would be the condition uh, outside of the room? This would be. And uh, uh, are you hearing the news that uh, in, at Umarko, the temperature is 45 degrees centigrade, 46 degrees centigrade, and sometimes means we have the expectation that it may reach to 50 degrees centigrade because we are living in the same belt of Mitchi, Chachro, Chur, Umarko. They are in the same belt of the heat wave. Mipohas, so we are quite unfortunate people. You know why the misfortune is striking to us? Because most of the people have cut down the trees because now, because of the firewood, we don't have the gas, natural gas, and uh, uh, because uh, our agricultures have completely destroyed, because the rains are not coming in the, in the handy way, they have become quite scanty. Another factor is that uh, uh, the river water is not enough to grow more fields. So uh, there has become lots of deforestation. So because of deforestation, so heat wave or heat, heat stroke is increasing day by day. So let's talk about the symptoms. Here you can see I have written some symptoms. Can you read with me? Dehydration. Dehydration. And then? Dizziness. dizziness. And with the dizziness, what I have written? Fainting. Please read aloud. Dry mouth. Over perspiration. Nausea, Nausea. Headache. headache, headache, rapid heartbeat. Rapid heartbeat. So they are the symptoms of. They are the symptoms of heat stroke. Heat stroke. We, when a human being comes in the attack of heat stroke, so these symptoms can be find out. So how one can know that your relative or you yourself or any family member has become the victim of heat stroke? So find out these symptoms. Now, what is dehydration? You know, you are the students of science, general science. So anybody know? Anybody knows what is dehydration? Any, any, yes, please. What, what, please? Dehydration is not pushki. When there is a lake of water in your body. When there is a lake of water in your body. But the condition is this, why there is a lake of water in your body? The water, the water goes out as the process of sweating, as the process of perspiration. 
and when you go out in the sun when you remain out in the sun like like you are walking you are walking you are in the distance you are playing you know there are many conditions your bike is punctured and that's why you are you know going with your bike there are many conditions you are a student you are a parent you are a shopkeeper you could be anything you could be anyone then you could be the victim of dehydration and you have not drunk the water and your the, the, the body that contains water inside that has come out as a result of as a result of sweating as a result of perspiration and you are feeling dry mouth you are feeling dry mouth and you find that now i i should drink water and the moment reaches when your body stops perspiration so this is the last stage of dehydration so i'm talking about the heat stroke today and they, they are the symptoms now dry mouth here but here is dizziness first of all you would find dizziness means dizziness do you understand you would not be smiling as i am smiling you know when you would be feeling dizzy and after the dizziness definitely people faint and it's not a good sign when people fall down and faint so that means they are very close to meet the maker okay so that means we should make our efforts to save the people like we should take the people in the shade and we should you know make some arrangement of the fame pedestal fame or anything and we should keep some ice packs under the armpits have you heard the ice packs when you are keeping under the armpits because armpits are very the they are the hottest part of our body so that means and suppose if we are wearing some kind of uh, very thickest clothes we must remove them so means they are the early precautions so the, here, here are little precautions so i will be talking later on over perspiration because of the over perspiration the whole the you know liquids of the body they have come out nausea i will tell the nausea nausea means you want to vomit remember that one day many times i think you have done it that you have not taken the breakfast and at 12 or at 11 you want actually to vomit but actually something is not coming out of your stomach you want to vomit okay yeah. ah you want to do it so this is how many at, at the time you know of the <coughs> heat stroke you know the victim wants to move it so this is for nausea this happens and then the person said that my head is dizzy i want to move it and i'm feeling headache and then heart beat raises and suppose if you touch their uh, chest then you would be finding their their heart is banging against the ribs they are you know banging against the rib cage <coughs> so this is the condition they are the symptoms of the heat stroke and now this is precautions 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 is how you can save yourself from the how you can save you how you can save your, yourself from the heat stroke number one avoid extra exposure don't go in the sun particularly from the time of 12 pm to 4 pm you come here so avoid going out in the sun and suppose if you are going then take the umbrella we don't have the fashion of you know taking the umbrella at the moment and suppose if you take them people will laugh at you that you are too <coughs> and suppose even in the rainy days suppose if you take the umbrella then people will laugh at you because you have to do what the people are doing and suppose if you are doing what the people are not doing then you are Okay, sit in the shade or inside. Suppose if you are going outside, and if you are alone, or if you are not in your car, then please, if you find out a tree, then sit some some time, like five minutes, under the shade of the tree. Wear thin clothes. Now, don't wear black cloth clothes. Are sharp color colors, like red, yellow. They are the stinging sharp colors. Avoid wearing such things. colors in in these you know summer days drink more water now suppose you are here for one hour when you come at uh, my coaching drink one glass of water when you go you know from here drink one glass of water and during you know during uh, this one hour drink one glass of water because it's such hot days nowadays 
and the doctor says that in the course of 24 hours you must drink 20 to 28 glass glasses of water mm -hmm. here showers twice a day what about this twice a day uh, and if possible then uh, like in the middle of the day you know what's the benefit that uh, while having the shower you will remove all the dust particles and uh, the sweats and uh, your body your temperature you know will be okay will be normal and then plant trees this is the ultimate solution this is the ultimate solution for the needs need store and please every one of us suppose promise to ourselves that i have to plant one tree then i think the problem of heat stroke and scanty rains and many such problems you know will be solved out i hope that i have made some i have uh, you know given some information to you and you have received it now it's your turn thank you so much